we've got our first ever game in the Carabao Cup as ex-Premier League winners Blackburn Rovers come to play down at the Walks. Can we pull off a giant upset in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 45 of my Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep, Blackburn Rovers at home today, first ever game in the Carabao Cup. I'm hoping we get a big, big crowd for this. A sellout crowd would be very, very very nice and before we do get into that let's just see how we've been getting on in the few games we've played since we was last together we haven't played that many in fact we've only played the two you saw the game against Swindon in the last episode where we got absolutely robbed in injury time giving away that penalty there so we lost that one unfortunately but since then, we've had a nil-nil draw against Accrington. And then we've beaten Cambridge at home. Xavier Simmons, the first ever player to score a professional goal for Kings Lynn. Remember that, that might be a quiz question one day. And he was quickly followed up by Aberdeen Goodridge about 20 minutes later. And that wrapped up a very, very nice performance. So, as things stand, like you can see, very early days, but we are ninth in the league. I thought I had it on the home screen there. And so, yep, you can see it there. We're ninth. We're level on points with a few teams above us. And so, as far as the league's going, I'm very happy with how the league is going thus far. But like I say, we've got Blackburn today in the Carabao Cup. Let's get right into it. And let's have a look and see what the team is going to be for today's game. The team looks like this. We've got Herbin in goal, Wilson at left back, Andrew Unpronounceable comes in alongside Hopkins because Barnett is looking a little bit unfit, so that's why he's come in today. And Richards is in at right back. And in the middle, it's Lewis, Taylor, Simmons, DiMaggio, Wright, Phillips. And then up top, Peter Stevens is in behind Aberdeen Goodridge. Again, most of our attacking midfielders aren't looking the fittest, so Stevens gets a massive chance in this big, big game versus Blackburn. The bookmakers, as you would expect, have got Blackburn as big, big favourites. 4-7 to seven to win the game. They've won two of their three games in the championship so far this season. We, of course, have only won one of our three games. So this is going to be a challenge, but... You never know, 90 minutes of football, anything can happen. Here we are in the dressing room and my assistant has set an instruction for one Blackburn player. Okay, uh, let's see, what can I say in the team talk? Let's go, we've got nothing to lose here. One person gains confidence. Come on, I have faith. Oh, that's got most of defence happy. Oh, can I pull it off? Can I get it all green? Come on, come on. Yes, I have. Come on. Okay, prediction time. You know what? I'm going to say one all and it goes to penalties. Let's see if that's going to be right. And now let's go and get into the game. Come on, you Linux. First highlight of the game and it's us with it. Taylor with the ball from the free kick goes back to Wilson. Wilson goes over the top. Lenihan heads away. And now Blackburn on the counter. Merchant with the ball, he plays it out wide to Coyle, who goes back to Lenihan, who tries to go over the top, and Sam Gallagher gets the ball there, but Andrew Unpronounceable clears it, and now come on, just over the halfway line, we need to get this ball back, Thompson to Dabo, Dabo with it, out wide, and now Bell is unable to get to it, and DiMaggio Wright Phillips is on the counter, He's coming forward. He's into the box. Can he give us the lead? He does. DiMaggio Wright Phillips gives Kingsley the lead against Blackburn Rovers with six and a half minutes gone. Oh, my days. What a run that was. 
DiMaggio nicking the ball there on the interception. Goes over the halfway line. Nobody challenges him. He gets into the box and coys you like. Like his granddad used to do. He slots it coolly in the corner. Come on. 21 minutes gone now. Blackburn with a throw in. Coyle crosses the ball in. Unpronounceable gets the ball away. And Simmons tries to clear it, but only goes as far as Marchand on the right-hand side. And now Dabo with it. Goes to Coyle. And Marchand trying to go for the overlap. And he plays it back into Dabo. Dabo on the edge of the box here. Is he going to take a long shot on? No, he's not. He crosses it. Goes to Dowling. Back to Sabiri in the box. And that's a good block there from our defender. I think that was Richards. And now Thompson, Bell, Sabiri, Dowling. We need to get this ball away. Sabiri's in the box. He's gone for the shot. And oh, how has that gone out? How has that stayed out? We are having a lot of luck so far. But now Blackburn once again, almost immediately after that, it's Bell to Dabo to Sabiri, Thompson. And come on, let's get the ball back. Dabo out wide. And Bell just about keeps it in and nobody challenges him for it. And oh, Blackburn, no, they're not level. Oh, they are now. We had so much luck with that shot just now, hitting the post and coming out. And I thought we was going to get that away after Herbin's great save here. And you'll see it in a second. Bell to Sabiri. And this is it there. I thought we was going to get it away. But Coyle with the easiest chance he's ever going to get levels the game up. And that is all for the first half. We are one apiece. But Blackburn have absolutely dominated us. Nine shots to our one. Four on target to our one. And 60% of the ball. How we're level, I don't know. Let's go into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. I'm going to go passionate. Uh, if we can get a goal, I make us favourites. No real reaction there, but let's go this again. I have faith. And yet, come on. Come on, everybody's confident. Can we nick our winner? I think we can. I really think we can. Come on, you Linets. Almost an hour gone. Blackburn with a corner ball. Gallagher with the header. Goes back to Thompson. And there it is. Oh, I was being a little bit too optimistic when I people. That was a very nice goal there from Thompson. Let's have a look at this on the replay again. It went out and Thompson there first time. No keeper in the world could have stopped that. Half an hour left to go in the game. We've made three changes as we go two up top, hoping to try and get a draw, take the game to penalties. And so, Marriott has come on for Peter Stevens. Jordan Richards has gone off for Dylan Crow. And Will Taylor has come off for Ewan Murray. And we're going a bit more direct passing. We're trying to go a bit more attacking. Because you know what? It's Blackburn. It's a cup game. Doesn't matter if we lose by a couple more. Let's try and go for it. 25 minutes left. Dylan Crow has got a corner ball here. He crosses it into the box. Gallagher heads away. Goes to one of our giant defenders, Hopkins. And he has it. He goes all the way back to Murray. But Murray's not quick enough to get it. And oh, that was a terrible error. But Brown's shot has been saved by Herbin. And thankfully, we stay just the one behind. But they could still punish us here off the corner, which Brown himself is going to take. He crosses it in, goes to Dowling, and Simmons gets the ball away. And now, can anyone get onto this in our shirt? No, they can't. Oh, just over five minutes left. We've got another chance. Crow crosses the ball in. Lewis with the volley. And how has he missed that? How has the man missed that? Ah, Rolos. That was our last chance of the game. We've lost it 2-1. And Blackburn have absolutely dominated the game without breaking us down that many times, to be honest. They had 25 shots to our four. Nine on target to our one, which was our goal. 62% of the ball. So they very much deserve to win it. And so, yeah, what are you going to do? They're like two leagues above us. They've been a professional team for the last million years. But, so just to lose it, just 2-1, I'm quite happy with that. 
And so let's go. We were just unlucky. Uh, it wasn't to be or good effort. Uh, good effort. And yep, everyone's happy with that. And you know what? That's looking like a bit of a short episode. So why don't we come back for the next league game? I'll be back with you for that in just a second. We've got a few changes for the game today against Mansfield from the team that took on Blackburn. Herbin, of course, is still in goal. Wilson is still at left back. And in the middle of the defence, we've got Barnett and Hopkins, our first choice giant central defenders, back alongside each other. Dylan Crow is at right back. And then in the midfield, we've got Lewis, Murray alongside McCarthy, DiMaggio Wright-Phillips on the right wing. And then up top, Stevens is still there, just behind Aberdeen Goodridge. Come on, guys, let's get a win. The bookmakers have Mansfield as the favourites, but not big favourites. We have pretty much identical form. We've both won one of our four games thus far this season. We are higher in the league, though, so hopefully we can convert that into another three points. All right, here we are in the dressing room. We've got an instruction for one Mansfield player. And let's go and talk to the boys. Oh, okay. Didn't quite want to say that. That would be an upset. But, okay. Go out there and make a difference. Go out there and make a difference. And go out there and make a difference. And just before the game starts, I've not mentioned it yet. But I did say that today's episode was going to be a India Building Nation series video. But I've decided to drop that series at least for a month or two, just while I'm doing the charity streams over on Twitch, because I don't want to be doing too many videos or too much content and burn myself out like I did a couple of weeks ago, which is why I had a couple of weeks off before coming back on Saturday. So that's why there's no India video today. Sorry I didn't mention that earlier. I completely forgot. And so let's get into this game. You know what? I think we can win this. I'm going to go 2-0 us. Come on, you Linets. First highlight of the game, seven minutes in. Barnett plays the ball long and they head it away. And now it's Wellens coming forward, running at us. He goes for a long shot and thankfully that was dreadful. 20 minutes in, we've cleared the ball away from our own box. But it's only gone to a man in yellow. And now they have it again. Cooper over the top. And we've tried to get it away, but we haven't. Seal with the shot. It's hit the post. And Dylan Crow, thankfully, just smacks the ball out. And it goes for a Mansfield corner. Can we get this ball away? Can we do it? As Khan takes the corner. And they've headed it in. And it's... Oh, it's in the back of the net. Oh. It's going down as a Dylan Crow own goal. Oh, let's have another look at this. I didn't quite see what happened at first. And so Khan took the ball. He crossed it in. Hit their, their defender headed it. Oh, that's harsh. That is harsh calling that an own goal. It's hit Crows on the back of his head. But now, immediately after that, we're on the counter. DiMaggio Wright Phillips running forward with the ball. He's passed one man. He's passed another one. He's into the box. Can he shoot? Oh, that was dreadful. That could have been Michael Owen in San Etienne-esque, but it was not to be. And now, lots of highlights in this game. As we get the ball back there, McCarthy plays it to Goodridge. Goodridge back to Lewis. Can he get the ball in the box? Nope, goes to Murray, who goes out wide to Wilson. Wilson crosses it. DiMaggio with the header, and DiMaggio makes that his second of the episode, his first of the game, and we are level against Mansfield. What a very nice header that was. Let's have another butchers at this. What a move this was. Lewis to Murray, played it out wide to Wilson, and he crossed it in there, and just a nice glancing header there. Just put it past their keeper, and we are level. Almost half an hour gone, and yet another highlight. Goodridge coming forward with the ball. Is he going to get it into the box? He's gone past his man there. Very nicely done. He's in. He's crossed it. Lewis should be two, and it's not. Oh, oh if DiMaggio had been on that side, we would be ahead right now. But we've got a corner ball. Crow to take it. Crosses it in eventually. Wilson heads it away. Goes to Barnett. 
Is he going to play it back to his man? No, he's tried to cross it. And Pritchard with the block. And now it's Mansfield on the counter. End to end this game. Richard running down the right-hand side. He goes to the edge of the box, tries to cross it. Our defender there blocks it. And is this highlight going to continue? No, it's not. Just one more highlight before half time. Khan with a free kick. We've headed it away. And Cooper picks it up for Mansfield. Can we get this back? No, we can't. DiMaggio is unable to get the ball back there. But thankfully there, crosses miss hit and goes to our man Herbin in goal. And can he set us off set us up on a counter attack? He's trying to. He's gone high. And now can Goodridge head this down? No, he doesn't. And now it's Wells with the ball. To Austin, who goes over the top. Barnett heads away. Murray. Come on, what's he going to do? He's going to lose it, is what he's going to do. Seal is in. And he's gone for the shot, and that is gone wide. And I think that's going to be it for the first half. Oh, maybe not. One more highlight. We've got the ball. Stevens plays it back to our man Crow. And what can Dylan do with it? Goes to Murray. Back to Hopkins. He tries to go over the top. Goodridge tries to knock it down, but it only goes as far as Wellens. And oh, no, no, no. Seal is in behind our defence. He's gone for the shot. And Herbin with another decent save there. And the chances are still coming for Mansfield. This is probably going to be their last one. Khan, who did set up their first goal. And not much happens there. Their, def their man tries to hit it, but it goes over his head. And that is going to be half time. And what a first half of football that's been. One goal apiece. Mansfield have had eight shots. Two are six. Only the two on target though. Two are five. And they've had a smidge more of the possession. And so let's go dressing room. And I'm going to say to the lads. If we keep on going how we have been. We can win this one boys. And let's go passionate. And yeah we know the drill by now. Come on. How many of you want to get motivated? Most of you do. And so, come on, we can win this. Come on, Linets. Five minutes into the second half, Stevens has got the ball. Goes back to Crow. Into McCarthy. And what's he going to do? Go to DiMaggio. DiMaggio's going to run at the defence. He's in the box. Can he cross it in? Oh, he can do better than that. No, oh, I thought he'd won a penalty then. He's been tackled twice. Neither time was he fouled, according to our referee. And now, come on, let's get this ball back. Can we do it? Doesn't look like it. Khan into Welsh. Welsh deep in his own midfield. Plays it to Wellens in the centre circle. And Naduku is out wide on the right-hand side. Goes back to Cooper. And Lewis heads the ball away. Goes to Murray. Murray to Lewis. And Lewis, come on. What's he doing? Oh, he's giving the ball away. That's a dreadful pass. Seal with it now. Thankfully, he's at a tight angle. And he smashed that wide. How he's got it over that side of the goal from there, I don't know. Ten minutes into the second half. Mansfield have got a corner. And we've given away a penalty. Not quite sure what that was for. But we've given away another penalty. And who's it going to be to take it up for Mansfield? Ashley Seal, he's had a couple of chances today. And oh, he's missed another one. Herbin with a great save. It is not Seal's day. He cannot sign Seal and deliver it. And now it's them with another corner. If we can get this away, this would be great. And we have survived that. Surely we're going to nick it here. Okay, half an hour left to go on the game. We've made just the one change. The legend that is Adam Marriott is replacing Peter Stevens as we go two up top. See how this works for us for the next 10 minutes. Because Peter Stevens, you can see it there. He's on a 6.3 for the game. I might even put Will Taylor on in place of Lewis. What's his crossing like? Six. You know what? You know what? You're going to come on, my man. Lewis is not having a good game. So there goes Will Taylor. So that's two changes we're making. See how it goes for the next 10-15 minutes. See if we can nick a winner. Before those subs have had a chance to take effect. We've got the ball. And Aberdeen Goodridge is in behind the defence. And his shot has been saved. I thought that was going to be it there. 
Okay, 20 minutes left to go now, and we've got one change being forced upon us. Ewan Murray is looking absolutely cream crackered, so he's come off for Dexter Waters, which is pushing Taylor a bit more central, and Waters is going to be playing on the left-hand side. 25 minutes left, Taylor with the ball, crosses it in, Wilson heads it away, Walsh knocks it on to his man Wellens, and now it's Mansfield on the counter, can we stop him here, Clark running forward towards our box, he plays it in and Khan with the shot and it's in the back of the net, oh it's Khan, oh. that is disappointing, that was a little bit too easy for Mansfield to get through us. Look at it here. Clark with it. He had oceans of space. And then he played it through. Nobody picked Khan up. And Herbin didn't really make a dive to keep that ball out, to be honest. Okay, after that goal, we're making a few changes. We're shooting on sight. We're going more direct passing. Extremely high tempo. We're going count out when we win the ball. And out of possession, we're going higher defensive line and a higher line of engagement. Please just let us nick an equaliser now. We've got, what, two and a half minutes left, but Mansfield have the ball off our failed clearance. Wellens back to Welsh. He plays it out wide. and Nduku is out wide in absolutely oceans of space. And come on, get the ball back. Can we... Come on, let's just get this away. Wells with the volley, and that's gone over the bar. I think that's going to be all she wrote. Ah, as indeed it is. That's a little bit disappointing. I thought this would have been a winnable game, but as you can see, Mansfield were all over us. 21 shots, 2 R9, 6 on target apiece. They had 10% more of the ball. So they probably just about on balance deserve to win it. Let's go dressing room. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. Uh, I don't know what to say. What do I say? Just one of those days? Yep, let's try and keep the morale up and keep the confidence up. And so guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. This series, I've got the Pro Evo Real Madrid Classic League series coming back on Wednesday. And there might be an experiment on this channel, possibly Saturday night. I'm thinking, keep your eyes peeled on my Twitter, which you can follow me at on at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, check out all the Passion for FM lads. I've got all the details down below. And check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter and Facebook. They're all very, very good. And yep, guys, I'll be back with you over on Twitch on Wednesday night for the Crohn's and Colitis UK charity stream where I'm managing uh, Kevin Droids, uh, the Welsh team, in our relegation survival challenge. So check me out there on Wednesday at 6pm. I shall see you later. Bye.